Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Network. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. As always, thank you guys and gals for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers that just flooded in, in the last few days. Uh, we're going to talk about Joseph Biden because Biden, of course, is trying to push uh, electric vehicles onto you. I did a video maybe about six weeks ago about Toyota and the fact that a bunch of their electric vehicles are being recalled because there's a massive mess up involving those vehicles. And, of course, Biden is pushing this agenda. And now it seems that Dodge is going to fully embrace, wrap its loving arms around Joseph Biden's socialist Democrat radical agenda uh, by ending the production of muscle cars. There is a quote in here, flat, plain and simple, that ought to scare uh, red-blooded Americans, scare the shit out of you. The V8's days are numbered. I saw that and was like, oh, hell no. Hell no. Well, let's get to this. Um... This makes me sad. This makes me sad. As somebody that loves sports cars, uh, man, I've had Camaros. God, dog. This is crazy. Dodge ending production of iconic muscle cars to push forward with electric vehicles. Daily Wire, and there'll be some CNBC in this. Dodge will stop producing its popular Charger and Challenger muscle cars at the end of 2023 as the motor company transitions to making EVs. Wow. The move relates to the company's commitment to transition away from gas-powered vehicles towards EVs because of emission regulations. CNBC reported that Dodge parent company Stellantis, uh, I don't know if that's right, don't care, formerly known as Fiat Chrysler, ranks at the bottom among U.S. car manufacturers for fuel economy and carbon emissions. Quote, we are celebrating the end of an era and the brand new, the, the start of a bright new electrified future by staying true to our brand. Dodge brand CEO Stellanis, I don't know, we're giving it another shot. Tim Kolonsky said in a statement according to The Hill, the Charger was first introduced at a car show in 1964 and caught the attention of car enthusiasts everywhere, while the Dodge Challenger caused envy on the street soon after in 69. Both models were revised in mid to late 2000s, and buyers continue to flock to muscle cars as the Challenger outsold the Ford Mustang last year, and the Charger beat the Mustang in the second quarter of 2022. Dodge will say goodbye to the cars that helped give the company a name by selling seven special edition Dodge models. So, uh, let's and let's take a look. I saw a quote in here I absolutely wanted to share. Uh, since being re resurrected in the mid to late 2000s, the names made popular in the 60s and 70s, they've been stalwarts for Dodge and popular vehicles for a new generation of gearheads. The two-door Challenger particularly struck a chord of nostalgia with buyers thanks to a retro-inspiring styling while the four-door Charger has managed to achieve notable sales milestones despite consumers flocking from sedans to SUVs. Dodge also was able to juice profits from the vehicles which have starting prices ranging from the low 30000 thousands to nearly 90000 for its infamous Hellcat models that produced more than 700 horsepower. There was a quote in here from this a-hole, though, that I wanted to read. This is it. Quote, The days of the iron block supercharged 6.2-liter V8 are numbered, referring to the engines like those in the Hellcat. But the performance that those vehicles generate is not numbered. And, of course, he'll go on to claim, I'm sure, that the EV is going to give you something just as good. Well... You know what's not just as good? If those batteries start going bad in those EVs, the cost to get them replaced is essentially the cost of a used vehicle. And I'm not talking about a $3,000 used vehicle. Um, I read an article just a couple of weeks ago where um, some parents bought one of their kids a car. All right, electric car. 
and they found out that it needed like 10 grand worth of lithium batteries or some shit for it. That's the thing nobody is taking into consideration here. Never mind the fact that um, hard-working, red-blooded Americans can't afford to make that transition right now in this day and time where everything has gone up and wages have remained stagnant, right? I mean, it's just not practical. None of this shit is practical. Um, it, it's uh, ridiculous. We know that that Inflation Act was just signed, which is really a climate slash IRS come get your money act. And, uh, you know, this is a byproduct of, of this crap, this this green new agenda that's being pushed by the radical socialist. And now you notice everything that's connected to good traditional America, Americana those kind of values, that mindset, the old school, hard working, alpha male kind of thing, toxic masculinity, they call it. All of that's being abolished. All of that's fading away. All of that's crumbling. You know, they're getting rid of the Charger and the Challenger. And look, uh, we know many of the, the big sports cars that we have liked all through the years. Dude, eventually they're going to come for trucks, it seems like. I mean, I know they're doing some electric vehicle stuff in trucks, but um, they there's not a friendly, uh, a friendly viewpoint of people that drive trucks. I even see it by the woke Twitter mob, you know, uh, making jokes, talking shit about people that want to drive trucks and... And it's it's ridiculous. I mean, drawing that line is just absurd. Here we are. The Dodge Challenger, the Charger, being abolished for Joe Biden and the Socialist Democrats' energy agenda. We are losing more and more things that we love. Man, at some point, there's got to be brakes thrown on, and we have got to go back in the other direction. We have got to. I mean, I know so many of you guys are like, this is not the America we we grew up with. This the, the things that are going on right now does not represent what this country was built on and is supposed to be. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And they're coming after anything that might give you happiness, even your cars. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. 